Hey, this is Clint from Elevate Chiropractic and Rehab. I want to go over uh, shoulder wall walks. So a good way to kind of get the shoulder moving, hope if there's any pain through there, hopefully to get some movement without pain. So very simple, facing the wall. Think of this as passively as much as possible for the shoulder. So it's not me just reaching my arm up. Think of your fingers are kind of digging into the floor, or excuse me, the, the wall. And the fingers are actually what's going to be kind of lifting the arm up. So my fingers are digging in and it's bringing me up just to pain free range of motion. If we run into pain, that's kind of where we stop and then we control back. So starting off, I would probably just go straight up and down like so and limit the range of motion as needed. After those, we can kind of go at an angle to the side. Obviously, just listening to your body. If those are all good, we can even go, we just go with the left, go like a full lateral abduction as well, working my way up nice and controlled with the arm. Obviously, the closer I get, the higher I can bring that arm and then bring it back down will vary as needed. Other cue I forgot to mention that I definitely want you to pay attention to is what's happening with your shoulder. So as we walk up, we want to make sure that that shoulder doesn't start to hike up. This needs to stay down the whole time and the movement is just coming through here. So that's the cues to kind of think of as we're doing the shoulder wall walks.